All right, here's the ad. You may have seen it on Creme this week. It's an ad in favor of Proposition 1. Now, there are actually five different Prop 1s this year in the county. This one, though, is for the Spokane Valley Fire Department. Let's take a look. Services provided by the Spokane Valley Fire Department have changed over the years. We still fight fires, but now 86% of all calls are medical. 86%. According to a breakdown provided by the department, this is true. 86.3% of all calls in 2018 were EMS. Though on the screen it says they responded to over 18,000 calls, the actual department figure is just under 18,000. Moving on. Our 10 station locations ensure that help is only moments away, and the maintenance and operations levy makes this possible. Again, accurate. A majority of the department's budget comes from MO levy funds. Now, without that money, several stations would have to close. With the current 10 stations, Spokane Valley average total response times are under 10 minutes. It's not a new tax, it replaces the expiring levy. This is true, but don't get not a new tax confused with not a tax increase. The existing MO levy expires at the end of the year, and this proposition, if passed, would effectively extend it another four years. But the new levy would be at an increased rate. Right now, the maximum levy or property tax is $1.80. Now that's per $1,000 of assessed property value. Although the department isn't actually collecting the maximum right now. If passed, Prop 1 would make the maximum $1.90, a 10 cent rate increase. Now that's in 2020 and 2021. It would be 197 in 2022 and 188 in 2023. Keep your protection and services moving forward. Vote yes on the m and replacement levy. So quickly, two things you see on this end screen. 54% of our budget comes from the levy. This is true as shown by the department's 2018 budget and property tax data from the assessor's office. The 2019 numbers are slightly different. Finally, you see the ad is paid for by Citizens for Fire and EMS. That's a political action committee formed to support the proposition. It's raised about $15,000, largely from local firefighters. Spokane County voters should have received their ballots in the mail by now. At least 60% of Valley voters will need to approve the levy in order for it to pass.